sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing Hello everyone, happy Sunday. It's another beautiful day and it's time for us to listen to God's word. Please get your Bible and also get your manual. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Father, for everything you have done. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Thank you, Lord. So, Lord, as we're about to listen to your word, minister to every one of us in the name of Jesus. Make us doers of your word in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Today, our topic is the power at work. The power at work. Our text is taken from Acts chapter 3, verse 1 to 23. Acts chapter 3, verse 1 to 23. That's our text. Now Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, the night hour. And a man lame from breath was being carried, whom they laid daily at that gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask arms of those who entered the temple. Seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for arms. And Peter directed his gaze at him with John and said, Look at us, and he fixed his attention upon them, expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, I have no silver and gold, but I give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. And leaping up, he stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God and recognized him as the one who sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. Why he clung to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in Portico called Solomon's. Astonished, and when Peter saw it, he addressed the people, men of Israel, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us as though by our own power or piety we have made this man walk? The God of Abraham and Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate, when he had decided to release him. And his name by faith in his name has made this man strong, whom you see and know. And the faith which is true Jesus has given the man this perfect health in the presence of you all. Repent therefore and turn again that your sins may be blotted out, that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. And it shall be that every soul that does not listen to that prophet shall be destroyed from the people. Remember we said our topic is the power at work. Today we have two lessons. Our first lesson will be taken from the passage of the Bible that we read. Let's go again to Acts chapter 3, verse 6 to 8. That is where we are picking our first lesson from. But Peter said, I have no silver and gold. Why give you what I have in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. And leaping up, he stood 
and walked and entered the temple with them, praising and leaping and praising God. This could only have happened by the power of the Holy Spirit. Remember, this man was lame from birth. And immediately, Peter spoke to him, he walked. That could only have happened by the power of the Holy Spirit. So, our lesson number one is that the power at work in the life of every believer is the power of the Holy Spirit. Our lesson number two. Lesson number two is that the Holy Spirit gives us boldness. Holy Spirit gives us boldness. Holy Spirit makes us bold. He gives us courage. Boldness and courage to talk about Jesus to everyone. And he gives us boldness to perform lots and lots of miracles. So in summary, we said our topic is the power at work. And we said the power at work in the life of every believer is the power of the Holy Spirit. And we said the Spirit of God gives us boldness. Holy Spirit gives us boldness to talk about Jesus to everyone around us. And it gives us the courage and the boldness to perform lots and lots of miracles. Remember that the people in the passage that we read were disciples of Jesus Christ. And when Jesus was about to go up to heaven, when he was ascending to heaven, his disciples were afraid. They were scared. But Jesus told them that they will receive power after the Holy Ghost had come upon them. Those same disciples who were scared became bold and they performed the miracle that we recorded in the passage that we read today. So as children of God, remember, you also have that spirit. So use your power. Use the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's go to our memory verse. Our memory verse is taken from Acts chapter 3 verse 16. Acts chapter 3 verse 16. And his name, by faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom you see and know. And the faith which is true, Jesus has given the man this perfect health, in the presence of you all. Our memory verse once again is Acts chapter 3 verse 16. And his name by faith in his name has made this man strong whom you see and know. And the faith which is true Jesus has given the man this perfect health in the presence of you all. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, Father, for the study that we have read today. Father, we pray for the grace to utilize the power of the Holy Spirit. Help us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. So, children, this week, as you go, remember that as a child of God, you have that Holy Spirit in you. So activate it and see his work in your life. Do have a great week. I love you. Bye. In the Bye. power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and